All right, this is a video of what is hanging on my winter wall. This one is Angel of Love by Lavender and Lace. She does have a halo and wings in the original pattern, but I did not stitch those. Mostly because I just didn't <laughs> want it to be done and didn't want to. I don't know if you can see all the beads on there, but it is mostly beads. Her skirt. This one is Past and Present by Rosewood Manor. It does have a few beads and some hard anger pulled work in it. Darning stitches up here. This was Little Snowy Green Cottage by Nora Corbett. This one is Heart of Winter by Little Dove Designs. This is Evening in the Park by Chatelaine. It also has a lot of beads and crystals, <laughs> specialty stitches. sparkly threads. It's beautiful. If I do say so myself. <laughs> it's a beautiful pattern. This was a guild activity, um, Threads Through Time. This is the Floss Keeper from the Swan Sampler Guild. And this was our 10th anniversary project from the Swan Sampler Guild. This was a freebie during the pandemic from the Blue Flower. This was the mystery stitch along for the 2010 EGA Rocky Mountain Region seminar that was hosted in Salt Lake City. Leading up to the seminar, we got a section each week, I believe, to stitch. It has some hard anger on it. This part, you could just kind of choose motifs and put them wherever you wanted. This belonged to my aunt. It is a, um, looks like satin stitch on a printed background. I did not make that, but I think it's beautiful. This was a gift from a... Uh, retreat that I went to. This one is the 2020 Stitch Along by Modern Folk Embroidery. This one is Sampler on the, no, Church on the Hill by the Sampler Company. This one is Words to Live By by Tiny Modernist. And then this one is Winter by the Cricut Collection.